Hello there, people, and welcome to yet another day in Thief the Dark Project. What is the level we happen to be playing today? One that will make many thievers happy, or should I say taffers, because we're playing Thief. Why, we're playing the sword. A mission filled with stealth, with fun. It's an amazing mission. A mission that many swear by, and it's probably one of the best missions in the original game. Yeah. The sword. Definitely worthy of a playthrough, and definitely worthy of a higher mode today. Therefore, here we are. Time to do it! Bring it! Build your roofs of dead wood! Build your walls of dead stone! Build your dreams of dead thought! Comes crying, laughing, singing, back to life! Taste what you steal, and pulse the skin from your dead bone shrieking! Play tablet in a bit in Trickster Temple! I was contacted by a woman named Victoria. She claims to represent a client who was impressed by the way I took care of Ramirez and now wants me to steal something for him. The target is a magical sword, owned by a nobleman and collector named Constantine. Little is known about Constantine except that he is an eccentric new face in the city, and mostly keeps to himself. Victoria says the sword will probably be on display, but it will be well protected by guards and security systems. She also mentioned that the guards are tough and organized, and the mansion is confusing to navigate in. The house was constructed recently, so I've had to piece together my own map from observation and hearsay. Sounds like the place is a bit of a maze. I guess if you're rich enough, you can build any sort of mad house to live in. This is gonna be a challenging job, but it'll pay better than the last few I've taken. As usual, the front entrance is heavily guarded, but I've managed to find another way in. Of course, once I've picked up the sword, I'll still have to worry about getting back out. So, yeah! Um, basically how the missions are still connected is the fact of the matter that, well, um, assassins, we had the whole thing whereby we beat down Ramirez. We went to his house and we basically stole the belt from around his waist. And yeah, doing that we basically proved how how amazing we are. And from that basically it's saying that now we're being contacted by this particular person called Victoria that wants us to steal a sword from a lord called Constantine. Yeah. Very, very, uh, you know, interesting situation we have here, um, because Constantine's just a new face in the city, and he apparently has a house that's a maze. Yeah, he's eccentric. And guess what that means? That means we shall be due, because guess what? This turns out to actually be one of the hardest missions we've had to do so far in IM modes. Um, in terms of stealth, in terms of everything, because the fact of the matter is, this is the first mission um, usually when it comes to like levels like this, it's usually like the mantling missions, but yeah, um, this is a, um, for stealth wise, this is probably one of the rougher levels in the game to actually stealth through, um, and actually like try and like sneak your way through it, because it's a tough one, it's not as simple as like, Lord Benford's Manor I feel is very very easy, like it, it, it's, it, it's a joke stealth wise, um, Assassins, we may have some blunderings, but overall, it's a very easy one. Really, most of the guards are sent in certain areas, so if you take out the guards in those certain areas, you're pretty good, um, even if you do have problems. And Crag's Clef can be problematic due to how twitchy the guards are when it, when it comes to, like, randomization, but in terms of actual challenge, not really. This level is more challenging. It's a pretty rough level. And in that way, we're going to have some fun with trying to iron mode it. <laughs> oh boy, though. I'm definitely going to look forward to doing this and trying to beat this one. 
Um, we've done two times before, though. It's all of the missions, so let's do this! Anyway, we need to find and obtain the sword. It's probably on an upper level of the mansion. Okay, if we look at maps, which Garrett showed us, this is all we have. We have a map of the mansion. It shows where the front door is. It shows us that there's a balcony, around, and we have the outside wall, which we can't escape from. And we'll start in the courtyard. And there's the main gate, which is, of course, locked. And there's three floors to this building. And inside, there's a garden. And that's it. Yeah. We don't get much. <laughs> but this is really a level that basically forces you to explore around. Like, even more than, like, the one so far. I mean, the, um, down the bone hoard definitely was kind of cruel because you had the area where, by... You weren't, like, anywhere on the map. And down the bone hoard. But, yeah, this is pretty cruel, too, because look at this. There's just, like... Nowhere really to be, yeah. You know, you have three floors, and that's really about it. It's very, very vague. And that's what's amazing about Thief, is how vague it can be sometimes. <laughs> anyway, so we need to get the sword. Pretty obvious, that's the name of the mission. There's a reason why it's called it. It's because we need to grab a sword. We also need to take the opportunity to steal other valuables. Um, remember what I said at the beginning about very vague objectives? This is... Uh, pretty much what I'm talking about. They say steal the valuables, but they don't tell you how much you need. You actually have to look in your objective screen afterwards, and it tells you you need to pick up 500 in additional loot. Um, and yes, this is also um, leave the mansion with the sword. This is the first time around in Thief that all three difficulty levels you need to get out as well. Um, I mean, assassins you may have actually needed to. I I've never really, like, messed with, like, levels on lower difficulties, especially not like assassins or so, but um, I don't believe you need to get back outside on assassins. I think it's just grab the thing from his belt. And that this is like the first mission on all difficulties. Which makes it very interesting in that regard. But yeah, it's a very, very strange situation whereby it like takes a bit of time for like Garrett to need to like actually get back outside. Is it's like he magically grabs something and then whisks away. <laughs> um, yeah. And then you have, like, the harder difficulty levels, whereby now all of a sudden it's like you have to get back out. And, yeah. That's, like, half the battle, usually. Actually, it's more like ha than half the battle, because you can easily cause a mess going into the house, but you kind of need to be, like, more strategic in how you do it if you want to get back out appropriately. Um... So, yeah. This is probably why, like, speedruns and all that are usually done easy, too, because the fact of the matter that you can just, like, run through, grab the item, and you're done. Yo, let's try and get back out past all the guards that are now trying to murder me. <laughs> yeah, that would kind of stink. And of course, they're made for some fun times, and that's but it's also awesome, but, you know, those speedrunners, I don't think they appreciate that too much. Anyway, so that's normal difficulty. Like I said, really, um, have to grab the sword, get some extra loot. Um, actually, another thing to mention is that we need to get extra loot. I don't think that was an um, easier difficulty as well. You can definitely see, like, a little bit of a difficulty spike here. Yeah, by this point, they basically expect that you know the game for the past few missions, and good luck to you. <laughs> it, it, it makes for a much more fun and adventurous experience. Um, the first few levels are very, very boring to, like, uh, a uh, decent play with the game. At least they are to me. This is really where the game starts picking up, in my opinion, and where it becomes, uh, second best game of all time. So, yeah. You're wondering why exactly it's the second best? It's because of stuff like this. Okay, so, I've been rambling for a while looking at normal difficulty. You like this normal difficulty screen? Let's make it hard difficulty. Bam! Wait, what? There's nothing different! Well, actually, there is. You see, when you look at the objectives now, it's 1,200 gold. That's kind of a jump. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of a jump. But yeah, that's the big difference between easy and hard, normal and hard. Hard, you're going to suddenly have to get a lot more gold. What happens when you get to expert difficulty? Well, um, you're going to have to pull off the job without killing anyone, as usual. 
And while you're in the mansion, see if you can dig up any valuable information about Constantine. Yeah, we have to, like, um, this mission will actually force us to read. <laughs> we have to read books! No! <laughs> this game is forcing us to read lore! How dare you! Anyway, how much loot do we need on Expert? Only 1,500, yeah! That's actually the interesting thing. From high to Expert, it's not much of a loot jump. That's 300 loot, while from like... A normal to high was like a pretty big loot jump there. <laughs> yeah. Very interesting. But, I digress. We've been rambling long enough. Let's actually begin the level and try and see if I die. <laughs> That's what it's all about, isn't it? See if I die. Let's see what we have here. We have pretty flash bombs. This grenade will produce a bright flash of light, blinding enemies who are looking at it. What the unwary thief. And why am I saying this? Because I think this is the first time around we actually get to buy flash bombs. Unless they were in Assassins, and I don't recall them being in the store for Assassins. No, they were in Assassins. So this is the first time you actually get to buy them in the store. We've seen them since Lord at Baffert's Manor and been using them, but this is the first time you actually get to buy one in the store. Is it in the sword? Yeah. <laughs> Takes a bit to get this one. There's your awesome lockpicks. And there's your rope arrows, and there's all your other arrows and all that good stuff. Uh, mines. We saw those in Assassins, but we couldn't buy any. This grenade will produce a fire explosion when touched. Yep, I basically explained it last time. Um, and the fact of the matter is that, once again, this is a stealth-based mission. So, yeah, you'd be pretty crazy to use them. I got a great idea! Let's stealth through the mission! Let's get as many explosives as possible! That will never get me detected! Um... Well, that mind, we probably should focus a lot on moss arrows. Moss arrows are our best friends. Unless, of course, you're a ghost, or in which case you're not going to care about moss arrows. Let's buy a bunch of water arrows. Okay. Water arrows that, um... Also flash bombs. Three flash bombs, sure. Good way to get rid of arrows. And yeah, I'm not gonna care too much about health potions. We're not gonna need them. I'm not gonna need rope arrows, not gonna need all that. Um, if we were playing a different version of this level, um, we would. But we'll get to that time eventually and have to deal with it then. But this is... This is the easier version of the sword, I guess you could say, for IM moding. <laughs> um, yeah. Hooray! I took the nerfed way this time around! Not really, because I eventually plan on, like, doing them all again. It's just, I'm basically building it up this time around. So we're doing 1.14 before we do Thief Gold. But, yeah. Don't think I'm skimping on that. I just, I decided to do it a different way, a different challenge. Show off more of this version, because I don't think I've ever really shown off 1.14, really. And that way you guys get a good comparison difference between the two. I don't think there's really much difference between this and 1.33, but... <laughs> it's there! You wanna see it? Anyway, let's actually get underway. Onto a hill. A mysterious hill. A great, a grand, a majestic hill with its rolling plains across the land of Constantine's Manor! Yes, look at that beautiful window. It's crooked, but it's beautiful. Oh yeah, this is an awesome place. I can imagine my kids living here with tiny trees that I can jump on. My, I can like, jump next to. Red Gate. Think anything will happen? Probably not, but don't soft up though. Not me. Oh yeah, I didn't pay attention to how much loot there is. Nor did I pay attention to what the pickpocket amount is. So guess what? We kind of guess gonna weed this thing and hope for the best. I just said we'll have to remember. No uh, stealing things off people that are unconscious. We must pickpocket. One done. And that's how you begin. We took care of the first guy. And yeah, Constantine's guys are these, like, reddish dudes. They look like 
raccoons. You can't really see it from this angle, but they have like really weird raccoony faces. Or they look like they you stole the mask from them. We could go by the front gate, but it's heavily guarded, as Garrett said. So yeah, I'm just here playing risky. I wouldn't advise that. I mean, your Cobra's could. In fact, this mission, like um, Lloyd Bedford's Manor, it's fully possible. But, you know, why go that way when we have this? Oh, well, we had three chances. We had to do this right. And now let's hope we don't die due to a rope bug, because I didn't pick up much healing potions due to hope that I didn't get rope bugs. And on we go. Yay! We're in the manor. And we get to pick up some little tiny bits of gold. Look at that shiny trinkets. A locked door. No problem for us, except for the fact that we don't have the key. Yeah. Also, an interesting thing about Thief is, look how the door is locked. The handle's down. That's something I've noticed about a lot of the doors in the sword. I don't know if it's just exclusive to sword. I mean, I don't recognize it elsewhere. But here, these doors are unlocked. These doors are locked. It, it's going to mess you up because it's totally backwards from what you should do um, and what I'm used to. So it must be different elsewhere. Here, though, this is just like the only level I really recognize in. It's like every time I get here, I get bugged by all that. <laughs> okay, so we wander around aimlessly. We try and figure out what we're doing. What am I doing here? Hmm. What is there indeed? Oh, look, it's explosive. I know what I can do. I can grab another flesh bomb. And I can look at this floating chair. The amazing floating chairs of Constantine's Manor. <sighs> you know, I need to check up there. Time to die to the rope bugs. Or not. Okay, let's see. There's nothing up there. Well, this has been a waste of my time. Now, there are guards that patrol around there, including that guy that's kind of frozen up there. I was just going to kind of stand there and be frozen. You be frozen, dude. Uh-oh. He's coming back towards me. This could be interesting. Okay, he's leaving. We're going to have to try and come after this guy. Let's head this way. Must have been rats. We're going to come at him from this um, way. So we have been having too much fun here. Me! What do I see there? Come into the open and try that again. I got it. Run! Drop that weapon. Ah! Get unlock the door. Unlock him. Unlock him. I'm a master of unlocking. Uh oh. I'm not really doing good. No! And that's how you fail.